Hello everybody and welcome back. This is EDS here bringing you part 30 of my Pokemon XG Next Gen Let's Play. So, let's play people. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this game. Hopefully. Um, I'm going to be ending this Let's Play. It seems kind of stupid to say this now, 30 episodes in. I'm going to be ending this Let's Play with the battle against Mirror B to steal the final Shadow Pokemon. I'm not going to be doing the battle, uh, whatever, the real game Tower Coliseum. Just because I don't really want to. Because also I'm going to most likely be resetting this file as soon as the Let's Play is over so that I can experiment with the game myself on a private level. Because I've never played this game until this Let's Play. So I kind of want to experiment with this game and see what I can come up with and do. So I think that'd be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and eliminate these guys, shall we? Play Rough and Thunderbolt should take care of the job nicely. Play Rough, goodbye! Sorry, Sharky. Sorry, not sorry. Out of my face. And Cloister, I don't think you're a Shadow. I think I already have a Cloister. Yeah, you're not a Shadow. Troll Pack? Ow. That hurt. Electrocuted, Ampharos. Goodbye. The arms of Thundera. <laughs> I rain down lightning upon thee. The bolt. Fire blast. Spit fire from my mouth, I will. Boosh. Enough to turn your turd into toast. <laughs> what alliterative alliteration. And him on channel. Oh, you got no shadows for me? Come on! Surely you could have gotten at least one. Ah, oh, you're no fun. Oh well, bye Cloyster. Anybody else think Cloyster is just a shelter that swallowed a gasoline? I'm not the only one that sees that, right? Oh, who cares if you fake out somebody? One of them's gonna kill you. Go ahead, fake out my Amphi. Fire Blast? Nah, play rough with him. Boom! Bye. 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 Bye bye. You're done. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Holy shit, Bayonet's almost done purified already? Shit. Jolly nature. Wouldn't oh I didn't even take a look at its speed. Let's see what Celebi has. I'm pretty sure it's a gentle nature. Yup, right on the money. I know my Pokemon, man. Got a little bit more before Blastoise, Jirachi, and Mew are showable. <clears throat> okay, so wait a minute. I need to go back in the purification chamber. Let's go ahead and put in my next two shadows. Charizard can go here. Let's see what he has. Oh, he has Drought. Ooh, those aren't good stats. That looks like a brave nature, or a relaxed nature, maybe. Probably relaxed. What about Venusaur here? <coughs> Dear Lord, my apologies. Oh, and he has thick fat. I thought he would have had chlorophyll. Hmm. go. Alrighty, moving on. I think I'm getting a cold now. Fifth level of the area. None of the trainers on the second path to the right have any shadows. There are only three trainers in this pathway. Those two trainers, another hidden trainer, that trainer over there, none of them have shadows, but the two trainers in this pathway or at least one of these two trainers in this pathway has Shadow Pokemon. The Shadow Pokemon they had in the original game was Rapidash and Magmar, but I don't remember if it's this guy or the person that comes after them. I'll be able to tell by the guy's Pokemon. It's not Pinsir or Scyther. Since we already have a Scyther, I know that. I don't know, it could be Pinsir. I don't think we have a Pinsir. Yep, Shadow Pinsir. 
shadows. So it's this guy that has the shadows. You just chuck a master ball at its fucking ugly ass face. Jesus Christ, that is loud. Sorry, I think I'm on the mic again. Alrighty, pincer in our bag. I think I bumped the mic again. Trying to readjust myself. Don't think camera ups the shadow. Nope. You're gonna smack my poor little Flareon in the face, will you? Well, I'm gonna thunderbolt your ass to death. Goodbye. You can take care of Citadel Dark Isle in under two hours if you're good enough. It's really not a hard area. Ooh, you're the one with the Shadow Milotic. Cool. I want it. You're giving it to me now. I wonder if it's like a water fairy or a water dragon type. Or maybe if it's just pure water, I don't know. In this in this hack, you can never really tell considering that they modeled Fortress after Ferrothorn, which is why it's a grass steel type with much higher special defense than it would normally have. Shadow Milotic in the bag. Now what you got, Magmar? Magmar. Butt-faced Shadow Fire Duck. Or butt-faced fire, butt-faced fire duck. There we go. It's a mob goblin. Okay, Thunderbolt. Fire Blast. Incinerate you with the power of fire. Look at all that damage. If you weren't a fire type, that would have killed you. Too bad you missed. And a boom boom. I'm such a child. You fucking suck. Da, 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 die with the thunderbolt. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Actually, no, we can go down down one level to go heal up. I was going to use my items, but we don't need to. There's a PC down right below us, and then there's a healing station right outside the room with the PC. Uh, has, yep, Drachi and Blastoise have purified enough to tell their natures. Rash nature, as I've stated before. What's Blastoise? Bold? Oh, docile. Okay. That's not good, but not bad. Mew's still not there yet. Charizard's obviously going to take some time. Okay, let's put Pinsir in here. Oh, there's only two spots left. Well, looks like Pinsir's not going in. Milotic is, though. Let's see what her nature might be. Hmm. Probably a neutral nature or a lonely nature. Kinda hard to tell, actually. Her attack is a really bit high for being a neutral nature. I didn't see if she's a pure water type either. Yeah, she's just pure water. So they didn't do much to Milotic to change it. Probably has Dragon Pulse, though. So let's go ahead and heal up. Heal my Pokemans. Make sure they're all prepared for the battle. Look at that lava effect, it's so cool looking. I've literally spent hours staring at that, or like having that as a backdrop before. I know it's stupid, but it's still fun. Okay, three more trainers in this area, and the two beyond this cave over here, there's one right in front of us that's gonna have to get in our way before we can fight the next two. Right here, this young lady. As far as I know, she doesn't have a Shadow Pokemon. And then there's two guys that are beyond her that do have Shadow Pokemon each. In the original game, they had Hitmonland, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan respectively. But in this game, they'll probably have two Shadows each. Ampharos and Flareon are more than enough to handle the job. Fire Blast. Boom. Kaboosh. God, I love the animation of Fire Blast. Makes a giant fire star with a circle around it. It's so fucking cool. 
It's like being hit with justice. You've been struck down by justice. <laughs> I'm such a child. Goodbye, man time. Four time means the lightning moves. Or so did I say electric type moves. Don't know why I said lightning moves. That's weird. I think it's called lightning in Japanese. I think that's why. No, I think the moves Thunder and Thunderbolt are called Lightning and Lightning Bolt in, in Japanese. But the reason that it's called Thunderbolt in this game instead of Lightning Bolt is because when the games uh, originally came out, there was a 10 letter text limit per move and, and uh, per moves and for the um, uh, names of the Pokemon, which is why For Alligator doesn't have an E at the end of its name, or in between the, uh, the T and the R at the end of its name. And also why Thunderbolt isn't called Lightning Bolt, because Lightning Bolt... <coughs> excuse me. Lightning Bolt has, like, 12 letters. L-I-G-H-T-I-N-G-B-O-L-T. Yeah, like, that's 12 letters. I had to count it out because I was, like, confused. I was like, wait a minute, is that right? Is that right? <laughs> How do you like my Blast of Fire? Boom. Boom. Just complete domination. Flare Blitz can't do that. Or maybe it can, I don't know. Who knows, who cares? Ready for a double trainer battle? It's not two trainers, but it is. It's not two trainers at once, but it is two trainers. Let me check the spot monitor real quick. Oh, the cave is blinking off the fucking charts. There's no way I'll reach it, though. God, I want to play this game by myself now. <laughs> Grab some full restores since we've reused a couple already. And fight two bulky dudes. Let's go. My name is Abdul. My name is Malik. Together we bring the power double explosion attack. All right, Abdul. Lapras and Metachain, huh? Betting nine bucks to a donut, nine bucks to a donut that that Lapras is your shadow. Wait for it? No? Okay. Prove me wrong, then, my friend. Prove me wrong. I like to play rough. Boom. God, that's satisfying. Toros, maybe that's your shadow? Yup. No, that's a Timothy. Okay, so that's not your shadow either. Hiding your shadow for the very end, are you? Don't hide from me, you can't hide forever. I'm gonna be level 84 before I fucking reach the end of this, aren't I? Nah, probably not that high, but still. Absol? Shadow Absol? Shadow Absol? Shadow Absol! Just like in Pokemon Coliseum, nice. Freaking low Absol! You kick so much ass! One of my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite Dark Types especially. Actually next to Zoroark, it's my second favorite Dark Type Pokemon. It was my favorite until Zoroark came out. Master Ball, you are mine, little lady, you are mine. Sorry, puppy. Not sorry. And Jinx. Also found out why my crunch a few episodes ago didn't do much damage to Jinx. It's because the guy who made this ROM hack changed Jinx to secondary typing from Psychic to Fairy. So it's actually an Ice Fairy type, not an Ice Psychic type. Pretty clever. Something I wouldn't have expected. Bye, Tauros. Boom. And Shadow Jinx is a mine. Gonna call Flurry on just in case. <laughs> I don't think Master Ball's gonna miss, but you know, never, never can't be too safe. Because I think there is still a tiny sliver chance that uh, it can miss. Not sure about that though. Clarify for me in the comments. 
Ah, uh, Shadow Absol. Your turn, Malik. Let's get this done, buddy. That way I can end this video on a high note. Sudowoodo and Slowbro. Is that a Shadow Sudowoodo? I don't remember if Sudowoodo was one of the Shadows or not. Yep. Or Slowbro. Slowbro. Damn it. Oh well. Wait, I want Flash Cannon to hit Sudowoodo. Here we go. Master Ball. Catch me a Slowbro. These freaking shadows are like almost 10 levels higher, if not 10 levels higher, than Master Greville's shadows were in the original game. I can only imagine how high Master Greville's shadows are. Or even his other lackeys. Aldos and Eldes. Ardos and Eldes, or whatever their new names are. Ginga. Flash Cannon. Boom. They use the animation for Luster Purge, but it's still fucking cool looking. It fits really well with Flash Cannon, I think. Hmm, an Ampharos. Interesting. Wonder what your last shadow is. Crunch, 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 crunch. And level 78 Flareon. Nice. Look at that freaking. Those attacking stats are bomb. Oh, Snorlax. Is that a shadow? Yes, he is. Big tub of lard. Come with me. Goodbye, Amphi. Amphi? Say goodbye to Amphi. Bye, Amphi. And dead Ampharos. Time for one more Master Ball. Go. Now I can just put the controller down for a second. Pop my knuckles. And enjoy the show. And there we go. We're done. Not with the game, of course, but with this guy. Thank you very much. Alrighty, everybody, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, links to my Twitter and my Patreon will be in the description down below, so support me if you have the ability to. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making you for fun one video at a time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.